जय संस्कार इन दिस सेगमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूमेरिकल्स चैप्टर नंबर टेन देर इज ओनली फाइव न्यूमेरिकल विच आर इन अवर सिलेबस सो लेट्स जस्ट डिस्कस दैट एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन के विच इज एट द पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर एग्जाम्पल टेन पॉइंट वन मास ऑफ अर्थ इज सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी फोर किलोग्राम्स मास ऑफ मून इज सेवन पॉइंट फोर इंटू टेन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी टू किलोग्राम्स इफ द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन अर्थ एंड द मून इज थ्री पॉइंट एटी फोर इंटू टेन टू द पावर फाइव किलोमीटर्स कैलकुलेट फोर्स एग्जर्टेड बाई द अर्थ ऑन मून प्रोवाइडेड G is equal to 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 newton per meter square. Sorry, newton meter square or kilogram square. So let's just see. So whatever given to us is mass of Earth, which is equal to 6 into 10 to the power 24 kilograms. Mass of Moon 7.4 into 10 to the power 22 kilograms. Distance between Earth and Moon is 3.84 into 10 to the power 5 kilometers. So we know that we want all the quantities in SI units. Like we cannot take this one into grams, this one into kilograms. We want all this into kilogram meter and seconds. So distance should be in meter. Here it is given into Kilometers. So we will convert this kilometer into meter just by multiplying it with one thousand. So we multiplied it with one thousand, and we get uh, it is in meters. G is given. The formula is F is equal to capital G m one m two or capital M small m divided by d square, which is the distance between them. So we know all this quantity. We will substitute, and we will get answer. F is equal to two point zero one into ten to the power twenty newtons. Next, next is example number ten point two. Which is at the page number one thirty six. Page number one thirty six. A car falls off a ledge and drops to the ground in zero point five second. Let g is equal to ten meter per second square. What is its speed on striking the ground? What is its average speed during? 0.5 seconds how high is the ledge from the ground so these are the questions so let's just try to answer them time t is equal to 0.5 minutes okay so t is equal to 0.5 seconds g is equal to 10 into 10 to the power min uh, 10 meter per second square u is equal to 0 बिकॉज तरा हाथ में कोई ऑब्जेक्ट है ड्रॉप थे तो तब इन्हें धक्को मारी पछाड़ता नहीं तो इन इनिशियल वेलोसिटी यू शूड ऑलवेज बी जीरो सो यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड एवरेज वेलोसिटी पर आप फाइंड करवा एंड द डिस्टन्स ट्रावल बाय दिस कार दिस ऑल क्वॉंटिटीज शूड बी कैलक्युलेटेड सो वी नो द सीम्बॉल ऑफ ऑल दिस थ्री थिंग तो सो वी ड्रॉट दिस सीम्बॉल दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट So v minus u is equal to a multiplied by t. Newton's first equation of motion. We can replace this acceleration by the gravitational acceleration, and we will have formula v minus u is equal to g t. Again, u is equal to zero because this is freely falling body. So v is equal to g multiplied by t. We will substitute the value, and we will get five meter per second. Now one question should be asked by you people that why we are taking g is equal to 10 or 9.8 so that is calculated only but for simplification certain times g is equal to 10 is given to us okay so if in question it is given that g is equal to 10 meter per second square then we will take 10 otherwise we will take 9.8 meter per second square so we will get velocity is equal to 5 meter per second once we get the final velocity we know the initial velocity we can calculate average velocity what is that u plus v divided by 2 so we will get answer 2.5 meter per second 
S is equal to ut plus 1 half gt square. This is Newton's second equation of motion. Okay. So, we simply substitute A by G. So, again initial velocity is 0. So, we will not consider this term. Only this term would be present and we will get the answer 1.25 meters. So, we get, got our two three answers 5 meter per second square final velocity average velocity 2.5 and distance traveled by this car is 1.25 meters okay next is example number 10.3 Okay, uh, which is on the same page number 136. An object is thrown vertically upward and rises to height. 10 meters calculate the velocity in which object was thrown upwards and the time taken by the object to, to reach the highest point. Now you should understand this thing. Because the mare paas object chhe, to the fake ho Malab, you are applying certain force onto it. Okay, then it reaches to certain height and once again comes back. That means any highest height has a speed dime 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 ochi thai and zero thai gai and then opposite direction ma move karvanui start karse. So, example number 10.3 distance and I get to cover kairu chhe 10 meters. You apne calculate karvanu chhe initial velocity time taken for the highest point pon calculate karvanu chhe. So, simple Newton's third equation of motion v square minus u square is equal to 2s. A is simply replaced by g which is a gravitational acceleration. So, we will get minus u square is equal to 2g s. Now, एक वस्तु याद रखो जारे ऑब्जेक्ट नीचे नी बाजू आउत होतो त्यारे आपरे ग्रेविटेशनल एक्सेलरेशन जे छे इ ऑब्जेक्ट नो मोशन अने ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स बेनी डायरेक्शन सेम हती बट व्हेन वी आर डीलिंग विथ थ्रोइंग अप ऑब्जेक्ट अपवर्ड्स इन दैट डायरेक्शन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन मा लागसे अने ऑब्जेक्ट नो मूवमेंट छे ई अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन मा थासे देयरफॉर g शुड बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय माइनस g व्हिच इज 9.8 सो u स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू माइनस 196 मल्टीप्लिकेशन कर सो એટલે મળશે 196 इज अ स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 14 सो u इज इक्वल टू 14 मीटर पर सेकंड Final velocity v is equal to u plus 80. We will substitute the value and we will get time taken for it which is a 1.43 seconds. Matlab object ne upar le jau 1.43 seconds ni andar our object je chahi itli height reach kar se. Okay. Next is example number 10.4 which is on the page number. 138 a mass of an object is 10 kilograms what is its weight on earth aparna khabar chhe mass so weight is what mass multiplied by gravitational acceleration 10 multiplied by 9.8 so that would be our answer which is 98 newton next is example number 10.5 an object weighs 10 newton when Measured on the surface of earth, what would be its weight when measured on the surface of moon? So, we will that the earth mass hoi, weight hoi, and the earth moon upar mass sixth times decrease. Jai. So, this 10 divided by 6, which is 1.67 newtons. At least, weight vadhare chhe, that doesn't mean you are fat, that means you are on the wrong planet. The moon upar jau, the man who weighed jay chay, sixth kilo, one sixth part nu thai jay. Okay, so that was only for fun. Okay, uh, don't take it personally. But these are the five examples which is in our syllabus for this current year. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you.